one of our favorite go-to skills is the live bait. Uh, the reason we like the live bait so much is the first one of our go rescues or our hot zone rescues. Um, and the ability to bring a rescuer back if they get in trouble is really important. So what we do with this is put a line and specifically the throw bag end of a throw rope into a type 5 PFD uh, that was then attached to the rescuer, put on the rescuer and held by a belayer. There's a number of different techniques that we can use for belay stances, for jumps, for coils, for there's a, a large amount of variations, but the main premise is that when you jump out uh, and extra uh, attach onto somebody, uh, you have a line that we can just bring you right back with. So regardless of how combative the patient is, regardless of what the situations are, if something goes funny, as long as we've set it up properly, we'll be able to get you back home. Velo or rescues are a very useful skill um, when trying to uh, navigate a rescuer into a specific spot. Um, what we do is we attach a rope um, from each bank to uh, the back of the rescuer's PFD. Um, this allows us to be able to move them um, laterally across the current, um, left and right, river left, river right, and move that rescuer into line with wherever a patient, trying to rescue a foot entrapment, um, uh, searching an eddy, whatever it might be. It's quite rapid to set up. Uh, you throw a line or two across the river, connect it to the, the cow tail or the quick release on the um, rescuer's back, and then you're able to move the rescuer with some precision into, um, into their search position or the rescue position. Uh, can be quite useful. Um, it's a little bit harder to control as the rescuer is in the water, um, but the setup is fast um, and uh, doesn't take very many personnel to be able to run this, uh, this skill.